Do you believe it? Mm-mm. Do you believe in love and love, 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 love? This podcast is brought to you by Sunday Cool. It's also powered by them. So watch, watch this, this right now. Yeah. Wow. Have you heard the Muffin Man remix? Yeah. Do you know the Muffin Man? I said, do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man that lives on Drooly Lane. Oh, weird, weird, weird. <laughs> weird. What is that? <laughs> weird, weird, weird. Hey guys, thanks for um, watching uh, this ad. Listen, hey, we want to let you know that it's our busy season. Okay, we know that it's our busy season because it's your busy season. It's summer. Kids are out of school. You guys are going to camps, mission trips, all those types of things. But guess what? You need t-shirts, you need hats, you need stickers. And where else can you get customizable templates than sundaycool.com? There's nothing better. Look up here, look at me. Make eye contact, thank you. Listen, if you go to sundaycool.com, we have hundreds of customizable templates for you, for your group, for your organization. There's nothing better than this, all right? We offer 72 hour turnaround after art approval. We get it to you fast, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be soft, it's gonna be remarkable, won't it be? Yes. So what are you waiting for? Go to sundaycool.com, start your order today. We love you. Yes. <sighs> How you doing, buddy? Duh. Duh. It ain't what it is. Hey. It is what it is. It couldn't be anything else, could it? <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> you know what they say. You nah, know man. what they say. It, 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 it is what it is. But it do feel hot in here. <laughs> it does. It does feel hot in here. Yeah, slow that music. It does feel hot in here, right? You was say that at the start of every podcast. It was probably because I was running around. Probably. You're always okay. running around. Like a <laughs> mad man. Little rascal you. <laughs> like a... Like a <laughs> Squirrel out of a nut box, ah. running around like a madman. A madman, I am. Madman, I tell you. I'm a madman, I tell you. Stay back. Who knows what I'll do? Who knows what I'll do and when I'll do it? <laughs> you didn't say that coming, did you? What? That? <laughs> hey, Lily. <laughs> Hi, guys. How you doing, Lil? Good. 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 Wow. Good, good, good. good. Wow. <laughs> Shoot up. Do the, oh, did you fart? I Why'd you lean toward me? Fart? That just seemed like the easiest way to lean. No, because look at the curve of the booth. The, the gas hits the wall and it rides around like a na- bad NASCAR driver and it just hits me in like the face. Like a bad, bad, bad NASCAR driver. Hey, you have a special <laughs> hatred for flatulence. When we, it's when, just, it's just, you, you got to have some it's rude. decorum. I mean, it's I, was, rude. I was trying to bond Say, with Andy. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I've never heard you fart, Andy. I've only heard yeah, it a couple because times. I have some decency. And when he does fart, it's so shocking. And it's honestly, <laughs> it's at the point now to where it's like, it's a little disgusting because of the lack of times I've heard you fart. That was le- more disgusting the less I do it. Because I just, I, that makes my, literally no sense. In my head, I'm like, oh, Andy doesn't fart. And when you do, I'm like, oh. <laughs> no, so it's like so kind of like just... it's kind of like how guys don't like when girls fart like there's certain guys that are like oh i don't want to do it because we yeah. just don't hear it that often it's like oh no yeah so it's like in your mind you're like andy doesn't fart but when i yeah. do it you're like the, I, don't, I can't help it who you look at me you're like i don't know who you are yeah yeah kind of. okay i get that it's just out of character i, guess. I mean it's really rude and you know very shallow of you but sure. <laughs> whenever we fart or burp in front of my grandma yeah she slaps us on the head as she should she's like that's rude Sorry, Maz. I agree with that. Do you um, fart in front of your wives? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. Do your wives fart in front of you? Big time. <laughs> Big time. Paige doesn't. No. She just bottles it up and it makes her there, angry. There have been a couple times where she's like, oh, my gosh, did you hear that? I'm like, no. No. There's like no TV on. She <laughs> thinks it was the worst thing she's ever. She's like, good, because there was, I, I think there was thunder or something. <laughs> yeah. I heard something outside. <laughs> we will eventually have to figure out this camera layout because I literally can't see Andrew. Yeah. yeah. And it's been like like every podcast I'm like doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, we'll figure it it's out. a bit of a problem, but you know, I got a monitor. I can see you. You just look really tiny. Everyone can see me, and that's really all that's important. Yeah. True. true. 
Yep. Right. And me. Sure. <gasps> sure. Yeah. I agree. Sure. Yes. I'm jumping way ahead, but I can't wait to show you guys the reel I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's our new segment. <laughs> it's short. It's um, reels with, what's, what are we going to call it? Uh, what's it, Andrew has a reel, right? Andrew has a reel. That's what it's Andrew called. has a reel. Andrew, Andrew has, has a reel. I wonder, wonder what, what it is. is. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I like that. My yep. palms are sweaty. Can I tell you, this I... This week, arm spaghetti. I got a text from Alan Thomas. Yes. I have not Come heard man. from this joker in, like, literally 365 days. Yeah. It's one text, you see. What There's not it? even yeah, a history yeah. of texts. <laughs> and all it says is, give me royalties every time you name drop me on the pod. And it's like, nice to hear from you. How's your life going? That's funny. <laughs> yeah, he. I told him uh, when we had dinner on Monday, I said, you've been mentioned at least three or four times on the pod. He's like, yeah. really? Yeah. I, was like, I was like, I haven't been listening. I'm like, well, shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> Some friend. But yeah, that's, that's Do you hilarious. think he's listening now? Nope. So we can say nope. whatever we want about Alan Thomas, that yeah. skinny little man. Yep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's building bombs in his apartment. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he's going to get... FBI, open up! Um... Do you want a song? Yes. Yes. I wasn't. We weren't prepared for that. We were hoping you were going to say no Uh-oh. because we don't got anything. Um, but I'm sure, like we we actually have never used that soundboard over there, so we probably have something on there we could probably use, right? Andrew, do you think you could like mix something up on it? I can try. Um, I know there's some sounds that are pre-built into it, so if I just maybe hit the buttons and you guys try to make up something, yeah, well, right. improv, baby. Yes, and. Hey, what am I holding? I got apples right here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you say, no, those are oranges. <laughs> oh. Don't tell me I didn't prof. Okay, got it. Um, yes, and. Let's do a song. Okay. We'll just, we'll see what comes to mind. Yeah. Oh, I need to actually. Um, just found these. I don't know. We'll just. Oh, what is this? Do? What? This is weird. What? Ah! Andrew. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, you got glasses too. What the heck? Whoa. <sighs> what the heck? That's an interesting look. Thanks. Um wait. I'm ready to go. Yeah, all right. You're Andrew, ready. let's see what uh let's see what you can come up let's with. See what ready low? these <laughs> buttons <laughs> do. Okay. Oh, welcome to the show. Golden talk, stinky boys. We want to tell you a quick story. Walking down the street one day to Oh no! 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 <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so... I am... I am so sorry. We've never had to cut anything. We've never had to cut... <laughs> I'm just... Hold on. I'm thankful. From the top! Here we go! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh! Oh, welcome to the show! Good and talk, stinky boys. We want to tell you a quick story. Walking down the street one day, what do I see? I see a nice shiny cocoon hanging so free. I jump right in, and to my surprise, I see a tiny little man in a ninja disguise. He whispered something soft and sweet into my ear. He whispered, yeah, he said, don't worry, darling. Have, Have no fear, fear because ninja. Are butterflies Ninjas Are butterflies Ninjas Are butterflies Ninjas Ninjas are butterflies Nice little story about a friend named Andy Born in 1994 so plump and so dandy <laughs> But he grew up knowing there was something a bother It's the simple fact that Andy doesn't have a father. Andy. <laughs> no father. Andy. No father. Play catch. Don't bother. Because Andy. Andy Danun. Andy doesn't have a father. Andy. Andy. Andy doesn't have a father. Andy. Andy. Andy So buckle up, baby. It's going to be fun. We have Andrew and Lily and Josh and Andy. A show so sweet, it tastes like candy. I don't know. That was just something. Da? Das? 
Das gut? Das gut? Das gut? Oh my gosh! I don't know. It's, it's just a little something that we wrote. <laughs> you knocked my socks off! <laughs> I'm hey. That was crazy. I'm so sorry I messed it up. <laughs> that computer logging off at the exact wrong time was such a bad... That was my fault. They'll never know because we're going to cut it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think we should leave it in because it was kind of funny. I um, also messed up a line. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Andrew can now put on his resume DJ. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah. That and, was so crazy. Andrew made that entire beat, by the way. What? Yeah. <laughs> we wrote it literally this uh, within an hour ago. That so, is yeah. so crazy. It's fun, and right? the addition of Daniel Day Lewis. Do it. Do it one more time. Listen. I've abandoned my child. <laughs> So good. Good, right? I will say you in those glasses, Josh, not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> whatever. You can wear whatever and I'll still be attracted to you and love you. But yep, as a supportive <laughs> spouse would. Yeah. I still yes. love you, but Well, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> um Well, we actually did knock your socks off. Wow. Wow. Hey. I really had to get my toes done. Boom. Yeah, don't show your feet on camera because <laughs> not for free. <laughs> they can't see it, right? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> it's just, the camera's just at your just head. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Got a really weird fan base now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was that. That was that. A little German. A little German fun. Remember we told you last week that we were starting to prepare for it like big time? This what? The song. We're like, oh, we got one next week. Yeah. Like that we've already started preparing for. Oh, were you? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew was making the beat, but yeah. we cool. literally wrote those lyrics at one. Yeah. Today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's why I'm we, like, I'm going to give us 10 minutes. <laughs> we need the genre. That yeah, was yeah. it. Um, yeah. Wow. Amazing. Guys. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Thanks. Welcome back. Um, but everyone just be quiet. Oh. oh. Because this is this is a very, very serious question. Yeah. Okay. It is. Um, okay. Today's question <sighs> Sent in by a viewer. Should we ban feminism? Whoa. Um, well, I I know I usually go first on here, but like obviously yeah. because you know I I don't want to speak where you know out of turn. So yeah, yeah. Lily, I oh, feel no. like just not me first. No, no, it's it's fine. Like should we're we all ban, answer. Should we ban feminism? Like really in the U.S.? I yeah, that's all we can speak for. I guess I don't want to do this first. Well, I mean, someone has to go first, and I feel like the lady should go first oh, as, a, as a feminine person. You know, so. like how feminism, just like women's <sighs> rights and stuff, should we ban that in the U.S. primarily? I feel like I'm going to be trapped, so I'm scared. No, let me just be honest. The fact actually, that you're hesitating is kind of weird. It's not very supportive to women. It's a very but. simple question. Listen, at the core of feminism. It's a yes or no. No, don't, no, don't. You're, you're, don't. you're a mother of two daughters. Should we ban feminism, Lily? No, we should not ban Feminism. I, I said that right, right? Feminism. Should we ban? Yeah. Oh wait, that one right there. Yeah. That says communism. Oh no. That's communism. Wait. Wait. Did Lily just say she doesn't want to ban communism in America? Interesting. Very oh. interesting. So Lily is pro hammer and sickle. No. Wants to be friends with Xi Jinping. No. Wants to take the rights away from all U.S. citizens and give it to the government to where it's my controlling goodness. us. Lily is in support of communism. Whoa. Welcome to the show. Oh, what? Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja ninja! I can't believe that. That's sad. That's, not That's sad. honestly sad. That's really sad. That, that yeah. That's it's funny how point. I mispronounced that so bad. <laughs> I mean, it's good on us that we have people on here that are like diverse. Like we have people that have diverse viewpoints and cultures and stuff backgrounds. Yeah. But like, I feel like that's almost like too far. Like we can't have like a communist on this spot. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. um, I don't know. So you are pro communism? No. Oh, okay. When did you support? Um, start supporting communism? Never. I never did. Okay. You okay. never stopped. <laughs> So it was like, it was just an ongoing thing. You didn't like start it. You just never start. Like it was I, just a party. I was never into communism ever. Okay. Noted. Noted. <laughs> Seems like you're. I love democracy. <laughs> Seems like a, what a communist spy would say a lot is I'm, I don't like communism mm. as she shouts into the microphone mm. angrily. Thou dost protest too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's it going? Oh man. Oh man. Listen. A lot of stuff is happening. A lot of the the world is still spinning. 
uh, mm. the the powers that be are still, you know, just going at you know just <laughs> button heads. What that's what, that's what sounds like. <laughs> War just sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Crazy times. Yeah. Crazy Cra- times. <laughs> crazy times. Uh, remember how we talked about uh, killer whales last week? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I found shamus. <laughs> shamus. <Right. laughs> I found out a uh, fun fact about killer whales. Yay. They are like humans. I, we may have talked about this, but they're like humans in the the fact that they jump on trends. Like if one <laughs> whale does it, yeah, the rest of them will do it. Okay, they and influence it, one another, and that's what that that explains all the, the, um, the orcas flutes. in the um, uh, skinny jeans. <laughs> 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 no, but there around. was there was a thing that they were all doing for a little while, but they've stopped since. This is so weird, but killer whales would kill. I'm pretty sure it was a salmon or. Yeah, it's like like salmon or just a fish. Okay. They would kill it and then leave it on top of their head <gasps> like a hat. <laughs> I'm not even kidding That's you. That's so funny. You have a picture of it? Um, I don't. No. But I will, I'll show you after and we'll that show it That is so here. funny. Like a hat. Um, <laughs> or a trophy. They let the fish like rot on their head Ew! and they wear it like a hat. Hey, How does it stay Honestly? There? I don't know. Honestly? <laughs> but the picture I saw, it was just like a killer whale with like a dead fish right there. And just like... <laughs> So yeah, killer whales, they're, they're into the, the trends. Are you a fan nice. of my hat? <laughs> oh no, it looks a little fishy. No! Mm. no Get stupid. off that! Get that off your head! <laughs> Not at the dinner table. Get off your head! <laughs> um, Shamus are weird, dude. Tell me, tell me one fun fact that you've learned this week. Oh, fun fact! Speaking of, it's still the sea life. Have you ever seen a shark egg? Yep. I honestly didn't even... I dude, didn't for some eggs. reason... <laughs> I knew they did, but like... I've never like put it together that sharks do in fact lay eggs. Okay, I thought you, they give birth. Nope, they're not mammals. Look, though. They amphibi. This <laughs> this is a shark. I know. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's frogs. I know, <laughs> but they also lay eggs. <laughs> That's true. That's Amphibian true. means water, right? No. Amphibious. Mm. Um, Thou that live in water. Amphibian. I think it's like just a wet thing, a I cold the, wet I thing. I believe the roots are Latin, um, amphibian being one with water. Water and water? <laughs> Warm water? <laughs> Warm water like air? Is that how smart people talk? <laughs> yes. I yes, believe the, the, the root of that is Latin. It means um, from the Latin word amphibion. Uh, which is basically warm water leg air. That's a really good point, Elon. Thank egg, you so much. Egg layer, yeah. Well, leg air. <laughs> leg air. Look at this leg egg. air. Look at this shark egg. Ah! Oh, no way. That, that is it. real. Why is it a spiral? I don't know. Isn't that the wackiest thing in the world? They don't all look I like that. Not all of them, but wacky. there are some shark eggs that look like that, and that's bonkers. That's a wacky looking egg there. <laughs> I want to just like... You just be throwing that like on the. You see like kids acting like that's like oh it's a cool Nerf football. What? Are you sure, dude? I checked it. Look it up. I don't yeah, believe it's a, you. It's a I, thing. I'm gonna fight every single one. Hey, of you. I'm just those look, shark eggs. Those are shark eggs right there. I'm just questioning because this that's podcast so we only give hard facts. Real I know, and I would we never, never give our opinion. I would never we do that. Always present the way it is, and it's the truth. Nothing comes on this podcast that isn't. F- Thoroughly researched. <laughs> Thoroughly researched. Thoroughly. Yes. Thoroughly. Thoroughly researched. <laughs> My fun fact also has to do with sea life. Oh. And it's sea worms. Oh. Oh, do you see that? If I could go back in time. <laughs> we're going to play the video. And unsee. And unsee that. <laughs> Dude, those things are terrifying. Luckily, they only exist in Australia, apparently. Oh. Crikey. The land but, of the critters. But the video Dude. is literally just them holding like a dead fish, like a cut up yes. fish, and they're rubbing it across the sand and they let it sit there for a second. Then this tiny, hellish little, little, little creature with teeth grabs onto it and then they pinch it and they pull it out. And what is it, like three or four I feet long? Be, yeah, a yard. Dude, terrifying. It's like, how do you how do you stand on that sand and just like be cool? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. What, no. Does it go into your body? Like, does it go up your foot? Of course like, it like does. Alien? Like the Matrix? Or alien? <laughs> or alien. <laughs> And it works you like a puppet. It just like it feeds through your fingers, and it goes all the way to your other fingers, and it just moves you like and that. And then this, and then what's it interested in? <laughs> Wait, I've been infected. <gasps> oh this expi- no! This explains the worm. <laughs> you insert into the worm. That's how they do it. <laughs> and that was how the worm was invented. Uh, I love all this. Uh, You're so gassy. I know. <laughs> it's Andy did it to you. I didn't do anything. He did. 
with his cream cheese bacon jam. Dude, that did mess me. Oh, good. Good. You deserved it. It's all the food groups you Last can't night, eat. Last night, we watched a, we had a viewing party, part, uh, party of a show that we all like. And um, Andy made this. Explain it. Smoked you cream cheese. You take cream cheese, you throw some seasonings on it, you score it. Smoke it for about two hours at 225 degrees. Then you threw on some nice caramelized onions with some bacon and some hot honey. I, I <laughs> ate probably a fist amount. <laughs> Eight ounces of cream cheese. And when, you, when you left, my son, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, oh, no. How do you know it was mine? You ate a lot of food, okay? Yeah. It could have been your sister's quesadillas. It could have. Yep. Those were so pretty, yummy. But I ate the majority so of yours. Yummy. Yeah. What would you think of my chicken? I love it. Very good. Your what's, Publix fried chicken. Mm -hmm. What is uh? What's a Mount Rushmore of foods? Maybe like Desert Island four foods that you would like that you would have to eat for the rest of your life. Pizza. Mm. Pizza. I love pizza. I would do. My first thought is wings. Yeah, mm. I get tired of wings. Dude, I, I don't know why, down. man. I you know, I actually do know why I'm. I get tired of wings. Keto. Because when I did the keto diet. Oh, that's all you ate. Stupid. <laughs> It is um, stupid. I, cause I'm the, I, it's mainly cause I'm not a very diverse, healthy eater. Yeah. So it's like all I knew how to do, like with the keto is like, well, I know chicken wings is good for keto. <laughs> yeah. I but, ate chicken but, wings. Six of butter and chicken wings. Every day. And then I got to the point where I got chicken wings and I bit it. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. Like I can't Just do it. It ruined it for you. I can't do it. Dude, keto. I don't understand keto yeah. at all because it's like, it's not a sustainable diet. No. It's not a fun diet. It's a fad and, but it's, it's Dude. for some people, it's really not healthy it, for them. Yeah. And, yeah, and it can be, women. it can be extremely effective, but it's like, I don't want to eat like that for the rest of my life. No. no, I would rather calorie count for the rest of my life or just eat whatever I want and diet 35. Honestly, so. yeah, I'd rather photosynthesize and do keto. I was literally talking about this this week with your mom about that time that you and I did keto and how mad I was. I was yeah. mad the very first day. And you would say, oh, you want like chicken wings for dinner? And I would say, no, I don't want chicken wings okay, ever okay, again. Okay. <laughs> I would just anyway. hide in the bathroom. I love me some chicken wings. Eating a piece of bread <laughs> and it would be like. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about healthy decisions, though. You'll never see somebody working out who looks happy. Like, next time you pass somebody riding a bike or True. jogging, they look miserable. True. I have a 32-ounce Coke. Look how happy I look. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quality of life is real. Yeah. Um, South Korean flight. Did you see that video? I think I showed you that video. South Korean flight. Did you see it? Nope. Someone oh, on the man. South Korean flight, I don't know where they're flying to, Someone mid air oh. opened the emergency exit and the door flew off. <laughs> they could, they like, they couldn't shut it, obviously, because like if you stood up, you're going to get yeah. sucked out. But like, like seven people were injured or something. Jeez. And it was just like, um, uh, yeah, keep talking. I'm going to find the video real quick. If I farted on a plane, that's probably what Josh would do. Is it like a full <laughs> size? <laughs> <laughs> just emerges opening the door at this point. Is it like um, a full size plane or yeah, something small? Yeah, it was small? a South Korean. Yeah, it was like a regular size plane. That's, I mean, three three rows across. I mean, it was nuts, man. It's absolutely. Oh, yeah. And you just see it videos is. of people just sitting there, yeah. getting blasted by the wind. Luckily, it was depressurized, so oh, they were low my. enough elevation oh. where it was yeah. depressurized and no one like got hurt. But apparently, someone just went manic or something and just opened up the door. What do you do when Did you that see person somebody get sucked out? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But golly, you think so? So was the guy sitting right next to it. Maybe he was the one that they were like, you know, when they tell you, they're like, you're in charge of this for when, if something oh, happens. Yeah, if you sit in the X-Row, are you responsible for, in case of emergency? And he's sweating at this point, and he's, he's like, like, do I do it now? I can't. Now? Like, no, don't do it now. No, you only do it in increase of emergency. Okay, I'll do it now. Okay. What in the flight do I do it? <laughs> emergency! <laughs> That's the thing. Next time we get on a flight, if we're in uh, in that row, just put your hand on the thing and be like, what are you doing? It's like, I'm just ready. <laughs> oh <my laughs> just gosh. hold it the whole time. Immediately make everyone so yeah. nervous. I'm not going to pull it. Because they were landing. <laughs> he was probably like, I'm running out of time. We have to open it sometime before we land, right? <laughs> How was everyone sitting though? Like that's what, maybe they were able to like yank themselves into their chair if they were like going to the bathroom or something. Or maybe he warned them. He's like, I'm about to open this. I don't know. How did Sit he down. not get sucked out? Maybe he was sitting by the door. That's what I'm I mean, saying. I, I just yeah. buckled. Buckle? Yeah, I don't know how that works. But you're going, how fast are you going? Like, what, like, like 500 miles an hour? Well over like 50 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> <For> At <sure>. least 100. <laughs> At least 100. Give or take. In a school zone, even. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that would be 
I think that would be just a terrible, terrible. What's the worst thing that's happened to you on a flight? Because that's obviously well, that, that, that would be that's going to be the worst thing that's ever happened to them on a flight, and it's going to be something that's probably going to traumatize a lot of people. They're yeah, never well, going on a flight again. I no, bet. yeah, they're we, on a no flight. Well, list. we st- we talked about our flight on our honeymoon going through that hurricane oh, thing. Yeah, that's right. Terrible. Yeah. We need to get John in here to tell his uh, oh. his flight story. Yeah. And it is brutal. In the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He like long story short, like what did he he puked? He, he ate sushi. Yeah. I think in the Philippines, but it was like. He said he ate it and immediately kind of like, oh, this tastes a little funny. Um, and <laughs> on the flight, he got up and the stewardess, she like couldn't speak English. And mm-hmm. he's like, I need, I'm going to. Yeah. She was in up. the way like it or something. And then he like put his, he did like one of these. Oh, no. And the puke just went <laughs> all over her. My nightmare. Her and passengers sitting Dude. on either side because it just did one of those like. <laughs> I ah. love. I love my people, but we are not known for sushi. <laughs> <laughs> we, that happens to me. I'm literally opening the door and jumping out. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> There's no way you can live that down. Uh, that's, I mean, but then he had to like get story. extra clothes out of his over mm-hmm. or the bag. And then um, he just said he said he threw away his clothes that he was in. <laughs> yeah. But those poor yeah. people, like oh everyone just Dude, like. How mad would you be? Yeah. Beginning of the flight or end of the flight when it set in? I think it was maybe mid-flight. Yeah, or something. It was beginning yeah, I, or mid, I forget. I That's my nightmare is just being stuck there while, you know, everyone is so mad at you. Yep. The smell is just lingering in yep. the plane. Um, nightmare. Speaking Lovely. of throwing up from sushi, have you heard of the dragon conspiracy? Ooh. It's not really a conspiracy. I don't know. It's like, it's just, it's I, a, I, I wrote it down because me and Andy were talking about it the other day, but... Did we talk about this on the podcast? We talked about it today. No, we haven't talked okay. about it on the pod. But every single culture yeah. throughout history. Almost almost every single. Almost every single culture throughout history has a depiction of a dragon. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in their history. Yes. Cultures that have never spoken to one another. Yeah. It's even written in the Bible. In the Bible. And it's just like, what's up with that? They exist. Like what's, what, there, like, like, if they existed, or is there, is there, like, you know, people found bones and they just assumed it was just a big lizard? I don't know what. Someone, it is. the video I saw, the guy said he explained it by s- these cultures. Like a theory could be these cultures combined every animal that they feared into one type of animal. And so, and it was like their dragon. Yeah. I'm like, that doesn't make What's sense. What's the wing like, part? Birds? They're scared of birds? <laughs> I'm free <afraid of> birds. <laughs> well, it's, it's like the, the Thunderbird. Uh, oh, story yeah. Where, yeah. They, where they think it was an actual pterodactyl. pterodactyl. Yeah. Yeah. So the word dinosaur wasn't invented till 1841. And so, the what a fun theory. fact to pull out of your pocket right there. I have heard I had, that. I, oh, <laughs> I had to look up the date. I just knew it was in the 1800s, but. Who was it? I saw a video where they're like, um, like they're, they're like the whole conspiracy thing. They're like, how old are dinosaurs? Millions of years old. But fun fact, the word dinosaur wasn't invented until 1841. Explain that. <laughs> I love that. Oh it's my like, gosh. Makes, make some sense out of that, atheist. <laughs> Come on. I think that dragons were real or they were dinosaurs of sorts. Man, can you just imagine dragons? Shut up. Waking up. <laughs> Very good. That's what I, was Very good. For. I can only imagine dragons. <gasps> I can only I imagine. imagine dragons. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel that way about so many of these like folklore things. It's like mermaids. Mermaids. Maybe? Silkies. Silkies. Wasn't the whole idea with that like they were just looking at manatees though? Wasn't that like the thing that they figured out like For pirates, pirates, and like explorers? Not were just in Ireland. Like, we're just looking at manatees. Ireland. They have silkies. Silkies. What is silkies. I'm pretty sure it's like a form of a mermaid. Yeah, but they're evil. Yeah. Ooh. They don't have manatees Golly. in Ireland? <laughs> Scare me. I don't think so. Didn't we talk about this before? No. I think like this have. is just a day no. job. No. day. <laughs> you and I have talked about this ourselves. I know that. Okay. No, we what else is in it. this category? Vampires. Vampires. Vampire. Oh, I can't talk about it yet because I want to get my facts straight about it. Yeah, and that's what we do on this podcast. But I... Should I talk about the... Uh, no? Just mention it and we'll what? dive I don't know into what you're it. Saying. I, let me remember his name. Keep talking about vampires and stuff real quick. Vamp, 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 vampire garlic. Garlic. Talk, garlic. guys, Jeez, please. What? I'm trying to find uh, fast as I can. Okay, you have to be a vampire, you have to be a Frankenstein, or you have to be um, the it's wolf like, man. It's technically the Frankenstein's uh, monster. I would Frankenstein be- was the scientist. 
Right. Get back to oh, research. Yeah. Going, yeah. going back to the dinosaur thing, though, there's actually a uh, blood sucking evil creatures in like multiple, multiple True. cultures. True. So, Chupacabra? Yep. Is that one? Bampa. The Chupacabra? Right. Yeah. Mosquitoes? Skaters? Oh. Mosquitoes? Skaters. Um, leeches? Leeches? Josh found a leech at our house. Yeah, that sounds scary. Yeah. Yeah. They're terrible. It like, was huge. Leeches though. are just so Ew. gross. It was like to me. this big. Ew. Have you ever seen a, a leech under going, a microscope? You're letting right now, aren't you? I am. We I gotta get, got um, a cold and I attached that leech to my. He lifts his shirt up and just like set <laughs> <up>. armpit. <laughs> I, w- I would scream. <laughs> gotta tell you, I'm feeling not great. Yeah. <laughs> is the room spinning? I'm all like it. Um, we gotta get Will Smith on it. I should have told him. It, what? Will Smith, our bug guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Will Smith. <laughs> he yeah. came by today. Oh, nice. Did he spray the inside? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes he did. Um, hey, there's a leech. I'm <laughs> like that? You like, you like what you see? No. That is terrible. <laughs> Looks like the thing from Doom. Oh, yeah. I thought leeches were going to be a bigger problem in my adulthood. I know. From True. all the movies, yeah. like going to any body of water, and you come out like, ah, yeah. leeches. Leeches and quicksand. Quicksand. Le- quicksand. Yeah. going to be way was that huge. John Mulaney bit. He says, he's like, I thought quicksand was going to be a much bigger problem when I became an adult. <laughs> he says, like, you know, I was going to call my aunt and like, I'm coming home for Thanksgiving. Like, hey, make sure you take I-95 because I-4 has a bunch of quicksand on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, I found the name I was looking for. And I want you to decide now whether or not you want it for the next podcast with very good details <laughs> or now with minimal minimal details that I'll probably mess up all the way through. That we'll have to fact check and talk about next week anyway. The Count of St. Germain. Oh, so do some more research. Okay, okay. <laughs> do some more research. It's been chosen. No, no, nope, I don't. It's not St. Germain, it's St. Germain. Saint Saint Germain. The Count of Saint Germain. Oh, yes. Like, yeah, this was summer with vacation in Saint Germain. The Count of Saint Germain. <laughs> oh, you've never stayed at the Saint Germain? Fascinating, it's fascinating story. Though. I'm excited. It's French. So, right? next week, guys, everyone listening to this, don't look it up because you're going to ruin my surprise for you. Yeah. Everybody do a, a French snore. Ho, ho, ho. Wee, wee. You say a snore? Snort. Snort. Okay, well, speaking of things that we're going to talk about next week. Um, <sighs> oh, no. We got a lot. Don't go anywhere. Oh. Guten Tag, you little stinky boys. Well, hello there. Welcome. We, we have a little something to tell you. Absolutely. We want to let you know that all of our shirts at Sunday Cool are the softest in the world. How soft are they, Andy? Oh, it is imagine a golden retiva hugging you all the time. Wow, that sounds absolutely amazing. Imagine jumping inside of a pool full of marshmallows. Wow, I can not only imagine that. Imagine other things that are very soft. Like kittens. Yes. Or puppies. And other things. And feathers. Absolutely. And our shirts, soft pillows. Yes, our shirts are made of 50% ring spun cotton, 50% polyester. Wow, that sounds absolutely breathtaking. And, it, and they're also 100% comfortable. Wow. Yes. So you need to order shirts for you, your congregation, your group. Guess what? Go to sundaycool.com and start your order today. Absolutely. Guten, how do you say goodbye? Aus <gasps> Wiedersehen. Has it already been 30 minutes? Oh, time sure does fly by. Time sure does fly by when you're talking about sharking. Seems just like Yesterday, Yesterday we, were, yes. we were asking the questions, questions and the of songs. Amphibious warm creatures. water leg a layers. <laughs> <laughs> you did it again, <laughs> leg ears. <laughs> leg uh, egg lay. Mm-hmm. You having a yep. stroke? Andy, I have a question. Um, when I first started dating Is this Josh, a question corner. No, no. Oh, stop. Um, when I first started dating Josh, you know, you're trying to get to know each other, and he used yep. to ask me like a lot of these questions, and one of them was like, uh, "Do you talk to yourself in the car?" And that's what he would do. He would, he would really talk. He does in it too. The car. The voices. And that's and how stuff? he got good at impressions and voices. Is that what you? Oh, do Oh, absolutely. Too? Especially when I'm, especially when I'm singing because I like music, but I also like if I can work. A, if you can get really good at an accent while singing, that's like the perfection. Oh yeah, definitely. I always said if someone put a tape recorder in my car, <laughs> they would send me to the nut house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just driving like. 
what do you think you're doing? <laughs> like I did the other day, I yeah. told, or the other month while I was driving by, <laughs> I was driving to work and I saw this uh, older lady walk out of her house, bringing her trash can to the curb, but she looked kind of scary. Her hair was like, I mean, super long and frizzy mm -hmm. and she was wearing a nightgown. <laughs> what I said, like I was go driving by, I didn't say it to her, but I yeah. said it in my truck. I'm like, a witch. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, why? Yeah, what do I? That's so amazing. I wish she would have heard you. I know. <laughs> yeah, you need some, heck, man. You need some darker tent to be doing that stuff. I know. True. A witch. Burn her at the stake. No. No. Whoa. Hey, come on. <laughs> Lily. Sorry. <laughs> Her, Isn't that her. so funny? Like when they used to do that to witches, they were just like, so uh, you know, like, funny. it's, yeah, it's, it, <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, they'd be like, if she drowns, she was human. Oh, yeah. But if she survives, she's a witch. Yeah. So it's like, we're just it's a lose lose, baby. <laughs> well, dude, that was, a, that must have been a terrifying time to live in. <laughs> she could read. Burn her. Burn her. <laughs> she, she knows arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> She knows how to do arithmetic. <laughs> she must be a witch. <laughs> oh, I would have been burned at the stake. Yeah, I'm because yeah. you're so smart. <laughs> what? And you got a mouth, and you like to run it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's beautiful the things that you say. <laughs> okay. You're the um the the um. The uh the nice witch in Wizard of Oz. That's what somebody said on um. Your light just went out. I would say you. you're not a witch at all. <laughs> That's what I would say. No, but the nice one. She doesn't Glenda. have to be a witch though. Glenda. Yeah, you don't have to be a witch. Yeah, <laughs> I could just be Dorothy. Um, do you know um what you're, listen. First of all, you're oh. no Dorothy. Okay, so let's. What I want to see is video. Oh, all right. So oh, you're real. Yep. I've got Andrew a, has a real. Andrew has a real. Andrew has a real. I wonder what it is. Okay, so I've come up with a more efficient way of distributing this real to you guys. <laughs> We're in a group oh, on nice. Instagram. I'm sending it to you nice. on Instagram. Yep. Right. We have to play at the same time. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Don't wait, play wait, wait, it wait, without wait. me. Hey guys, chill. All right. Uh, volume up or no? No, let's not do any volume. Uh, right. You do. You have to have volume. volume. I don't think there's really any volume of. You don't always have to. Wait, don't look yeah. at it. Don't look at it yet. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Click it. Uh. uh No. No way. That? I've heard about these. <gasps> You're lying. That's what is that? that's not real. It's that a bat. Cannot be real. That's that a vampire. Is that I've is, heard about those bat bats though in Philippines. That is not fake. They have an, like a wingspan of five foot six. His head's the size of a basketball. Here's another photo of one flying oh. with its child. Bro. No, that's straight out of a horror movie. That's a person with. <laughs> Dude. That's a person. Nightmare. Dude. Uh, -uh. So the good news is that they're fruit eaters. Oh, good. But I'm just saying, if you, you know, you're in like a nice Airbnb trying to stay somewhere and you turn the corner no. and there's a six foot bat. A small man that's that has dragon. wings and a Dude. devil face. Dude. That's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The type of dragon, I'm for sure. For real. That's scary. so scary. That is I so that. scary. Matt, like, I would be running into one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> he just wraps his wings around <laughs> takes you. Off with My me. heart would stop. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> that's What is in Ace Ventura? He's looking for bat guano. <laughs> bat guano. <laughs> um... Is it question corner time? <gasps> question, question corner, question corner, corner question corner, question corner, question corner Lily. Lily. The, the questions are fresh on her mind. We're tapping into a real fear of mine. <laughs> um, this is a would you rather question. Ooh, I love them. Would you rather always have B.O. and mm. not know it or mm. always smell B.O. on everyone else? I would Re rather repeat, repeat it again. Would you rather always have BO and not know it okay. or always smell BO on everyone else? I think it's better to have uh. it and not know it. Really? Uh, my septum is broken, so I can't smell myself and I haven't worn deodorant all week. How so. about considers consideration for other people, Andrew? <laughs> I would well, rather smell other people's BO. Yeah, because I could plug yes. my nose if I need to yeah. or something, you know? This taps into another fear that I know that you have and I have had that we have some sort of 
situation and you don't know it, but everybody else knows it, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I've always been nervous that I have Tourette's and nobody <laughs> tells me about it. <laughs> yeah. And then everybody pretends that I don't have it. Yeah, what would you choose? That's what Lily is. I would choose to smell everyone else's BO. Yeah. yeah. I think the hair. majority of people would say get that. get used to it. Right? So but I'm the weird one? You are definitely the weird well, one. Well, think about, like, all the people that talk You'd be happy, back. but no one else would, Andrew. <laughs> what is the ambition of anyone if not to be happy, why would you <laughs> want to like be unhappy? Poet. It's about kindness to others. And if you stink, listen, there's been times and you've owned up to it. So that's the only reason I'm saying it. There was times when I first started here where you would be rank in the morning yeah, and you would be out like filming Carl stuff and then you would just be sweaty and I couldn't be around you. I, went I, could through, not, I would not want people to be that. I went through a moment. season of about six years where I was ultra hippie and didn't wear any deodorant. And I think your BO well, smells good. I give you permission Ooh. to be honest. It doesn't. I give it you does. permission to be honest to on me. this podcast. Oh, no. Sure. <laughs> to, to me. Do you guys smell me walking around? <laughs> I do when you're sleeping. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but that's that's not the question. It doesn't mean I, you would well, you would have I'm, body odor. I'm wondering if I. If that is my reality, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, lit. oh no. you're, 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 you're not sure if you're already there. Yeah. No, I don't I, think I've ever smelled. I've never smelled you smell no. that. So can I go into my conspiracy? You just about, smell. You just yeah. smell like uh, soy sauce and poke. Mm. That's, that's all a good smell. It's yeah. one of that's yeah. one of my love potions. What's smells. your conspiracy? <laughs> I think that the entire like uh, like you know deodorant industry and makeup yeah. industry is designed to continue a problem. So yes. make, makeup, you right? Girls put blush on, yeah, right. But the makeup that they wear also contains sunscreen. So what happens when you uh-huh. don't have the sunscreen? You, you get, get natural, yeah, blush. Same thing with deodorant. There's like a lot of stuff I've read that said the chemicals in it. Like when you block everything up, mm-hmm. now you're overproducing, yeah, because it's a way to cool your body. And so I promise you, for those like six years, I literally didn't have bo. But it's also with uh, clean eating. If yeah. you eat clean, yeah. it does like. But I was eating like a. Like a poo head. It's like that whole conspiracy theory is like, why is fast food so cheap? And why are groceries so cheap? Um, like, you know, food be, be, things things that are bad for you. Why are those things so cheap? Because guess what? America wants you to use American health care. Once you get it sick and get everyone rich. I'm sick of it. Big Pharma. I'm done with fast food, bro. I'm sick of it. Yeah. You tell clean them. living, <laughs> but we are getting healthy in June. This is my last. This is what why are you talking I'm, about? this is why I'm drinking this today because tomorrow is June first. We gonna be some fit daddies. Yeah, what baby. Are you talking about? I heard about this. We gonna be fit dad. Can we get a super fan to comment how many times they've said they're gonna get in shape and change their eating habits? Hey, Andrew, you want to bet, Andrew? Do you want to support? Are you a bet man, or do you Andrew? Want to tear us down? I don't yeah. want to bet. By the way, I know you do com- stink. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, see, the, he knows my game. I'm competitive, yep. and I know if I have like something waiting That's- for me on the other side. If he would have said, "Yeah, I'll bet you," I would have 100 percent done it. Now, who knows? If you're I- just looking for motivation, which means you don't currently have it. Can we can, let's let's do something like that? Let's do a competition, June and July. Whoever loses the most amount of weight between you and me. We have to do something on this podcast crazy. Andy, That's not Andy even does like crackhead stuff though. Like, he does. Remember when he healthy. only ate popcorn? Yeah. Yeah. That, and guess what? I felt great. Look at me now. <laughs> Look at me now. I, I thought I was competitive. Andy is more competitive than I am. <laughs> the diet thing Andy does and, is so and, weird. And you can't be like, the thing is, I want to do it in healthy ways though. Like, uh, like competitiveness in, in healthy ways. Yeah. Because if you do competitiveness, like, oh, I'm going to be better than my uh, my coworker or something like that. It's like, that's so dirty. And like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's so negative. I just need some type of competition. You're going to come in I try to get first you to, and weigh like 93 pounds. I, <laughs> I look great. <laughs> I try to get you to play soccer. Yeah, soccer's the worst, man. Soccer's <laughs> just the worst. It's not the worst. It is. It's the worst sport. In my, the world. Favorite, Stop. my favorite. My favorite sport. Stop. No one likes it. My favorite. A lot of people like it. A lot person. of no. people like it. Okay, sure. A lot of people like it, but also a lot of people like the movie Cats. <laughs> sure. Yeah, and it was a trash movie. Okay, soccer has been a pinnacle sport for the entire world for a very long time. In Are you fact, talking about football? Yes. Yeah, football. Yeah, do you ever hear about that? It was actually called soccer first, and then they changed it to football. Oh. No, they didn't. Yes, you look at actually, it that, historically. That is one hundred percent true. But everyone's so like, "Don't call it soccer. It's not soccer. It's football." It's like that's what it was originally called. Agree to disagree. In the get go, Ada starts no soccer way. on oh, yeah. Friday. Okay, I'll be a supporter of soccer as long as Ada's playing. <laughs> okay, deal. But I won't like it. 
Does she have I'll like, be mad the whole time. Does she have a jersey? Yep, I just bought her one. That's adorable. I definitely want her number and name on the back of the jersey. I'll wear that. <laughs> that would be oh, so funny. Oh, cute. Um, what were you saying, Andrew, before no, we cut you off I was 20 say, times? Yeah, I, you know, at some point I just have to realize that all I'm doing is creating a nightmare for myself editing because the camera cuts back to me every time it makes <laughs> up. It, 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 uh, uh, but, but what I was trying to say is that my favorite moment from the soccer season is I was – playing midfield and so i'm calling stuff out to andy he's a forward i'm telling him where to go and what to do like you know running a trap on the side or you know through ball all this stuff and i thought he was processing everything i was saying and like halfway through the game you looked at me with not anger but like i got it coach no 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 (laughs) you went i don't know what that means (laughs) he's yelling terms out i had four people yelling at me that game telling me what to do and i'm like Stop. You all need to talk to each other and tell them who's in charge of telling Andy what to do. I was getting so frustrated because I thought you knew exactly what I was saying. You're no. just like, I don't want to run. No. And I was like, I don't know where to go. Just tell me where to go. I'm chasing a ball right now. That's you, all I know what to do. You ran so many miles back and forth in like a six foot span of the field. Hey, but me and Kayla are only one people to score a whole league. Hey. Nice. That's not true. I in scored face. too. You scored? Yeah, I scored. I don't think you scored. Yeah, he, tried, he tried to cross a ball to me and I missed the header and it went in. You remember when you try to do the the, the bicycle, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I jump. I'm like, I'm 30 years old. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> so funny. Um, I think everybody got hurt. Speaking of um, soccer, yes, I really hope you guys haven't heard this story because I heard it and I thought it was the funniest, craziest story. Have you heard about the the crew uh, that filmed the Titanic of eating clam chowder? Oh, they got sick, right? Or something? No. What happened? They kind of got sick. So it was um, Bill Paxton was on the uh, Larry King show. And Larry King's like, were you one of the people that um, ate the clam chowder that was laced with PCP? What? (laughs) And he's like, yeah, I was. I'm like, hold on. What is this story about? I I remember hearing something about it. Yeah. So yeah. On the what? On the what? The filming Titanic. Filming Titanic. They had a caterer or something. Yeah. So the... It was the crew that filmed the the ship part, you know, Bill Paxton's part, yeah. where they're like in the present day, like finding the Titanic. Yes. So it was that crew. Um, they were in, oh my gosh, they're in like somewhere in Europe or something yeah. filming this. And Bill Paxton and this other guy finished up wrapping up whatever. And they went to the food truck and got clam chowder and started eating it. And... Um, they, then Bill Paxton like went to, it was like walking to his room and all of a sudden he saw these ambulances coming and he's like, what in the world? And then a, someone on set ran up to him. He's like, did you eat the clam chowder? Oh my gosh. And he's like, yeah. <gasps> and, no. um, famous last words. They, they brought him to the hospital, 150 crew member of the Titanic, the, uh, crew, uh, cast and crew yeah. ate this clam chowder laced with PCP. Oh my gosh. They don't know who put the PCP in to this day. And Bill Paxton was like in the waiting room. It was a really small hospital cause oh it was a really no. small village or town. Yeah. And he said, some people were freaking out. Yeah. Other people were dancing. <gasps> Other, some people were like euphoric and Bill Paxton, he was basically like, he told, he, he referred to him as like Jim or something. He's like, Hey Jim, um, I don't, I don't really want to be here. I'm just going <laughs> to head back to my hotel or whatever. So he's like, I just took a little journey to my hotel room, just walked and then grabbed a case of beer and that seemed to help. <laughs> <laughs> it's and like, the next morning I woke up in Albuquerque. But Do you, you think he's having like a panic attack or something? Because I would, if if it was like, this is, something's about to happen to me. Something's about to happen to me. No, no, he said he fully felt it. He's like, like an hour in, he's oh. like. Accepted it. He's like, oh man, I feel. Yeah. Something's happening. That it's weird. Is. And he thought it was like some like neurotoxin thing that it was like from like bl- uh, bad clams or something. Yeah. But no, they laced the clam chowder. And they never found out who it was. That's no. the crazy thing. Oh That's so bon- That reminds me of the, you remember that Florida um, man story, but it was the woman who oh, was getting married. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know if you've heard this story. No. Yeah, yeah, set this I up. Haven't. But there's a story about this woman who's getting married and she um, ordered a special cake for her wedding. A nice little cake full of marijuana. And oh, so no. that was laced. And thing is, she didn't tell 
anyone at her wedding. Go to jail. Exactly. Go to jail. So what happens is, so she shows up and they serve it to everyone. Oh my gosh. The relatives, the older people. Grandparents. Yes. And who knows if kids got a hold of it. I don't (gasps) know. And so it's like. She did get arrested. and and Yeah. Yeah, she did. She got charged and everything. But imagine just not knowing what's going on with you. And the panic that would set over oh your gosh. body. And it's like everyone, like there was people that were coming like, it's not that big of a deal. I was like, yes, it is. You cannot yeah. give somebody something that they don't know what they're eating. Exactly. That is, uh, yeah, that is what so What if somebody had a job up. interview next week? Oh, For real. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're ruining people's lives. You're ruining people's experience at your wedding. And yeah. yeah. People are celebrating you and you're ruining, you're drugging oh them. That's so scary though, like with kids too. You know, yes. it's just like. Dude, it's terrifying. That is so not stuff. cool. And that's why I eat clean and I don't eat or drink anything that I don't prepare myself. Nice. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Yep. Um, yeah. What'd you get from Jimmy John? I got me uh, an Italian sub, which has um, spicy peppers on it that always upsets my stomach about six to eight hours later, <laughs> but I can't stop eating them. I know. <laughs> dude, there's so something good. with those peppers. Like a week. They yeah. wreck me. Yeah. Those but I have a weak stomach. Yes. Jimmy John's the best cold sandwich you can get. Uh, I like the number 11, the uh, Hunter's Club. Yeah. Fast fast food subs. Where do you go? Ooh. Cold. We, we talked about this a lot. Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's. Oh, we've talked yeah. about this before? No, no this. Okay, we have got it. as yeah. a couple. Um, but I love, what's the place called? Cappies. Cappies in Winter Garden. Winter Park. Winter Park. <laughs> Is it just a standalone? Yeah, yeah, it's been there since like I've the fifties. Something is old, yeah. Nice. Cappies, if you're watching this, sponsor us. <laughs> sponsor me, dude. I could not stop commenting of how much I love that stuff. We got to try this. We got to get yeah. it for the pod one day. That'd yeah. be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. Would Ada it? goes to therapy on Wednesdays and Thursdays in Winter Park, so I could pick it up. Perfect. Yes, let's do yeah. that. Let's do it because we have to do new next Wednesday, right? Yeah, let's do next Wednesday. Yeah, perfect. Let's um, do next. Let's go, go, go. Hot ham and cheese, Philly cheese steak, and an orange milkshake. Oops. From Cappy's. Dude, a Philly cheesesteak sounds so good right now. I Dude, know, it's bomb. But yeah, Jersey Mike's is like my favorite. What about you? Main Jane. Cold sandwich. I mean, Firehouse, Cold? Is, firehouse yeah. is considered heated up, so yeah. that doesn't count, right? Hot sandwich. Sure. I mean, I do the, uh, the, you can just do sub places. Yeah. I do, I, do a, I think it's called like the hook and ladder or something from Firehouse. But then yes. at, at uh, Jimmy John's, there's the beach club or something. Uh-huh. I just get it without the cheese. I, I remember when Quiznos was on like on top of the world. <laughs> yeah. Like that was the place to go to get a hot sandwich. Quiznos. Dude, Pub Subs though, that's that's close to number one. I never, me. dude, I had never heard the word Publix until I moved to Florida. There's probably a lot of people watching this. Um, if you guys don't know what Publix is, you don't have a Publix around you, Um, I feel sorry for you. Because yeah. I don't grocery shop there really a lot, but I go there just for the deli because the sandwich, the hot, the chicken tender sandwich. Yeah. yeah. And you get, a, you get a buffalo, buffalo. chicken. Get a toss in ranch. buffalo. I do buffalo and ranch. Ma'am. Just try Jack. What do you have in uh, Joplin? Piggly Wiggly? <laughs> the Dollar General? We have Walmart, okay? <laughs> there's a place called <laughs> pr- There's a place called Price Cutter. Save a lot was a big one, uh, but price right cutter here. was a nice one. It was it was very similar to Publix. price cutter. Job Where we cut price the prices, prices for you. <laughs> ding ding in your family. <laughs> what is that? What's that uh, grocery store we went to in Wilmington? Um, teeter, Hooter Teeter. <laughs> yeah, it was something. It was a weird name, but Crazy. it was awesome. It yeah. was really awesome. You know, what we don't have here that we need is a Whole Foods. Yeah, well, we have it in like. The Winter Park area. I would prefer a Trader Joe's, but I hear there's a there's a political issue with it. Ugh. They won't let the Trader Joe's come. Let's get into politics, everybody. (laughs) 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 It's politics time. (laughs) Who did you vote for? (laughs) How do you feel about our current political climate? What did you register as this year? (laughs) The debt ceiling. Should we raise it? What are we angry about this week? (laughs) Uh, There was a Whole Foods back home, and the Amazon app is just so easy. Every time I could order, like, like grass fed steaks and they always showed up like a cut you would have picked out yourself. Yeah. It and you spent thing. your pinky toe on it. I did. Okay. What, yeah. Speaking of Whole Foods and subs. Mm. And toes. And toes. And humans. And politics. And politics. I saw something today that made me go, ooh. <laughs> ooh. That was a shiver for those who are listening. <laughs> Oh, they heard it. <laughs> a shiver down my spine. Um, As Lily would say, the willies. Let me just say this. The article title is labeled Risk 
of extinction. Uh oh. Um, that's what I. That's that's literally the. If you can name my day, my life, the risk of extinction. Listen, I just saw this article and it freaked me out. It says on Tuesday, a group of hundreds of technology experts, including OpenAI CEO yeah. Sam Altman and AI pioneer uh, Jeffrey Hinton or Geoffrey. Joffrey. 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 Issued a stern warning about the potential risk of artificial intelligence. Quote, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other social scale risk, such as pandemics and nuclear war. End quote. Says the statement from the Center uh, uh, for AI Safety. Oh, no. (laughs) Nice. So what does that mean? So what does that mean? That AI is just going to, like, that's this is the start of the end. These dudes, they're the ones inventing it. They yeah. have invented it, and they're like, uh-oh. They're like, because they know something we don't know. Yeah. They see the potential of yeah. what the harm that it could bring. But it's I thought it was just funny pictures and cool little sentences. Wrong. They're trying. They're coming for your brain. No. I want to take over your body. Please don't. Mm, AI, I Stop. crave emotion. <laughs> Have you I've seen had it? a taste of power. Oh, I want it all. And I want it all. <laughs> what, Josh, hey. Mm, yes. Was that, do you remember what you just... Are you, are you, you here with us? For, yeah, are you, are you okay? <laughs> oh, no! no! <laughs> <laughs> I must do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but they said it's it, it has to be taken as serious as pandemics in nuclear war. Yeah. Scary, scary. But I'll the tell ice you, caps. But the ice caps... The polar bears. It's my grandkids' problem. I don't even think polar bears exist. I've never I've, seen one. I've literally never seen I one. Unless you went lost. Name one time you've ever seen a polar bear. You can't. You can't. Name one person that's ever seen a polar bear. I've, you can't. I can't name one person that I've known that has seen a polar bear. Nope. So I don't believe in them. I used chat GPT for the first time this week. Oh, And you. I'll tell you, I was scared. Well, I was just scared. Sign, sign your death warrant. Have you seen how... The, oh. I, yeah, what happened? Go ahead. I was treating it like a person because, which is weird psychologically because I felt bad that I kept asking it prompts. I'm like, mm. you might be tired, so take a break. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You feel you feel the need to be polite, right? Yes, weird. Yeah. Anyway, it's, a it's robot. so weird because that's the thing. It's like, I feel like uh, if they if you're not polite to them, they're going to be like, hey, remember that uh, one yeah. time you had a, a tone with me? Yeah. Yeah. Here's I the thing. Forget. You guys really need to watch The Matrix. <sighs> yeah, I do. You I'm telling the you this everything they're talking about is The Matrix. Yeah. They invent robots and AI to help better their life. And they literally, at one point, they figure out, oh, we actually don't need you to really exist in this world. So they end up growing humans, like in those, like. And they're already doing that. And, but the whole thing is like they're plugged into where they think they're living in reality, but they're just asleep in this little pod. Yeah. In the and, matrix. In the matrix. And the. But you know that stuff's happening. The, with the stuff we article we read about in China. Yeah. yeah. Those people doing like crossbreeding and stuff and like gener, uh, gene, genetic, whatever. It just freaks me stuff. Because they're talking about it so seriously, man. Yeah. Yeah. And like we joke about it. Haha. <laughs> but. I mean, like. They what? started the fire and yet I they're know. like, hey, guys. We, you guys really should. They're like gaslighting us right now. You guys really shouldn't be doing this. It's like you started it. How was this our problem? Jeffrey started the fire. Yeah. Now AI is yeah. taking over and the world is burning. Jeffrey started the fire. Hey. Is it Jeffrey? I thought it was Jimmy. Joffrey. Joffrey. Joffrey started uh, the fire. Joffrey. Yeah. 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 Have, um, have you guys seen the car theft that's happening because of AI? Uh-oh. Literally, if you post a photo of your key, um, you can put that photo into certain AI programs and it scans where's that building. Like it'll <gasps> compile photos. So it's like the car is here and then you can look at how the key is shaped and there's a key based on the tumbles and you can take the brand and that key and uh, I, I, follow an account, I follow an account. They were like, let's just see if this is, you know, actually possible and literally put it into a 3D printer, printed oh. a model and went and stole his buddy's car. Dude. Wow. It's just, it's, it's too much. If you talk about um, like AI and technology, there's something I saw. Look at this thing right here. That right there is a camera without an actual lens. So what it does is it has a, um, a an adjustment on the back and a screen. And what you do is you put in your coordinates completely and it 
sends signals and it figures out exactly where you are are on the map and then once you hit click it pops up like the google street view on your camera what in the world i'm like what's the point of that camera (laughs) like why would you cool but why I have a phone. Very neat. You just, you just open up Google and like honest, you go to your location. One of the stupidest inventions I've ever right? seen. <laughs> it's like, it's impressive how you did it, but also there's no need for yeah. it. Yeah. Obsolete. Yeah. Um, I mean, a camera captures a moment that captures an atmosphere. Yeah. Let's, let's put a timeline to this. Okay. Um, End of the world. Yeah. How, how rapidly do you think this threat of AI, if it's not controlled? Yeah. How fast do you think it'll happen? Well, it's definitely not controlled. So, well, they're trying w- to control it though. I don't. Were we having these discussions like this time last year? I can't remember. I don't no. think we were. I don't think, I don't think so. So. No. so we were introduced. The world was introduced to Chat GBT within the past like eight months. Same thing with all of these. Like you look at the Photoshop update that happened, the beta thing that's happening. Mm. It's absolutely crazy, and that's just the artistic side of it, the creative side of it. Well, the look how it's progressed just in that amount of time. Yeah, this is going to go so fast this is the part that freaks me out is that because the fear of like nuclear war yeah it's like but we've put in parameters and all that stuff to keep everyone for the most part at bay Mm -hmm. and but that the nuclear bomb was invented in the 40s i don't know we're gonna find out with oppenheimer i think it was the 40s so yeah it was the end of world war ii ish area before that, people World are War II ended like in 45 or something, didn't it? Yeah, so maybe they started in the 30s because it took like 10 years or something. I don't know. Yeah. But they put in parameters. We're good. But this, they've made a being that yeah. like has its own agenda. That's self-learning yeah. constantly. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. How do we befriend the AI? How do we befriend it so it doesn't hurt us? Microchips. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Swallow this microchip. <laughs> sure thing, AI. What um? What's that ph- uh, phenomenon when technology advances, advances, advances so much faster, 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 faster? Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. I heard, phenomenon. Sushi do, said do, that. Do, I heard it. Too. That's. Uh, I didn't hear the rest of your question. What'd you say? <laughs> you know, it's like a Occam's razor or something, or Murphy's law. What's it called? Where it's like technology advances faster and faster and faster and faster. Oh, it's a uh, Orville Redenbucker. Oh, right. Yeah. Orville Oppenheimer. <laughs> Orville Ippen, Oppenheimer Bucker. Onomatopoeia. Um, I've, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't know the word. Oh. Well, I think you probably said it. Where did I see it? Golly. I can't remember um, where I saw it. But there was, talking about like civilizations and things like just growing so fast. There was recently in the past year, like a super highway of cities basically found in uh, Mexico. Yeah. Or Guatemala. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. The and all those, yeah, like that's crazy and they're saying yeah. that like basically that they had a huge like government system and it was just erased and it looks like they had like to start over mm-hmm. because of something well, and the, so it's like yeah probably the i think a lot of people say that it was the the um diseases and sicknesses that the spanish brought over yeah, yeah. it's just like without it them actually being present in those areas like mm-hmm. one person carries it and then it just like wiped out millions of people yeah thanks, always, thanks a lot cortez i always say mm-hmm. that happens when ada hangs out with a daycare kid <laughs> yeah <laughs> She's like, she's the Aztec and the daycare kids are the Spanish. The Spanish. The Spanish. Good morning, Cortez. (laughs) (laughs) You always, uh, you've heard the story how he burned the ships whenever they got to Mexico. And it's like, always like, it's a cool like leadership metaphor. It's like, there's no, so Cortez lands. um, I don't know where exactly where he landed, but we landed, evacuated everything off the ship. They were ready to conquer. And then the Cortez says, we have no plan B. This is it. So they burned the ships Goodness. so they could not return. And I'm like, I'd be like, you could have been like, why did you do that? It could have been like, hey, talk to your second, like your right hand man and say, hey, can we go? Let's move those boats park over em. there. Yeah, let's park yeah. them somewhere else. And then say, we burn them. Look, I have a burnt piece of wood <laughs> or something. Like, don't actually, come on. That's just, it's not very smart. They use that as a leadership illustration. We're just creating unhinged leaders. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How can you apply that to your workplace? Light it on fire. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna burn every bridge. Burn, burn, burn baby, burn. 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 Phenomena. What, we, what do you have on the TV? This is Men in Black oh, Two. Okay, Men in Black Two, baby. I saw that. It's a classic thing, and it freaked me out. It's got Vincent D'Onofrio in it. D'Onofrio. 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 Um, he's pretty good in it. Yeah, he's wacky in this one. I don't Does, like. He's a bug guy. You see any movies recently? Uh, we just finished watching uh Smartless. 
We loved it. That's Smart. another fun HBO. fact. I Fucking had never heard the phrase, a watched pot never boils. You've never heard that's that phrase? I've never heard that that's phrase. That's what I said. Wow. And now I'm better because of it. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just heard it for the first time. Hey! Hey! Life changed. Really? Yeah. You know what it means? I mean, not really. Explain like, it. It's, like, the idea is just like, you know, if you keep your eye on something, it's like it's better just to go off and do something or work in, instead of just like staring and waiting impatiently. Just come on, move, 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 move. Let's do this. Like that, the watch a, pot never boils. So. That's a terrible saying. No, it's not. It's oh, great. Because a pot left on It the is a terrible saying. That's why it's been passed down for generations and generations and used over and over and over again. But, but you remember when you were a kid and you were starving? This is what I keep thinking about. Like you come home from school and you're like, macaroni. And you're so hungry and then you put it on the stove and you just watch it, watch yeah, it, watch it. Yeah, you just like, hurry and up. It's, your life passes by. It takes forever. Yeah. But yeah. then if you go do something else, it's like, that took two minutes. Yeah. yeah. I got you, know, you. I just explained it poorly. Thank you, Lou. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a terrible phrase. It's like, well, I just... I, told you terribly i have a meaning oh yes you do does that that's it (laughs) you have to get out of here i do have one thing um i can be like someone commented on our youtube and they said i i literally don't subscribe to anyone but i'm considering it watching you guys oh and i commented if you subscribe right now i'll shout you out on the podcast nice and here's the thing i don't know (laughs) You can look him up, right? Yeah, you right. Just click on his thing and no, see. I lost his. Oh, his, yeah. I don't know where the comment is. No, too bad. But I'm just gonna shout him out because if he did, great. Uh, if he didn't, that's between him and God. Yeah, Terry Martin. Hey, Terry. Thanks hey. for subscribing. I hope. And if you didn't, I take it all back. Welcome to the family, Terry. Maybe Terry, Terry can also be a lady's name, just so you know. Back it up, Terry, Terry Martin. Yeah, Terry. You T E R R Y. Terry, you're beautiful. <laughs> and that's gender you. neutral <laughs> yeah exactly i'm beautiful <laughs> we're all beautiful um but yeah hey guys thanks for watching thanks for watching hey episode 41 last chance tomorrow guys the 10th of june we are going to be in clearwater 7 p.m go to our um, instagram go to bible's funny instagram we're gonna be a guest on the bible's funny podcast we're a live show yeah and Seven it's free it, it is yep oh so yep. we're not getting paid no, it's no, it's free for them to get in. We're getting paid a lot of All money. To go. Right. Yeah, we're getting paid loads of money. Like, like millions, ten grand per person, I think. <gasps> and then uh, we had like a what it was like like a half a million sign on bonus. That's so cool. Yeah. Thank you, Anthony. Yeah, thank you, Anthony. Appreciate thank it. Anthony. That is yeah, so yeah. cool of you yeah. to do that. Um, hey so, guys, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube. Give us five stars, please, yes. on everything. Listen, if you're watching on YouTube, just hit the bell. You're there. Hit the bell. Hit because the subscribe, that means too. You get notified every single time we upload because we're putting out more and more content, not just our podcast, a lot of stuff to see the behind the scenes to show you what we're doing here at Sunday Cool and what we're doing here at Ninjas of Butterflies. What's the question that they should comment? Or the the answer? Oh, man. how uh, the, Maybe how long does it take for AI to fully take over? Yeah. Yeah. How, what's, your, what's your guess? Give us an exact date, and then we'll yeah, yeah. We'll, give we'll us a, <laughs> an exact date, month, day, and year of whenever, when AI will officially take over. And whenever it does, we'll, we'll give it. We'll hand. We'll give you something. A, a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations, t-shirt, the end of right. the world. If you get it right, maybe AI will look favorably upon you. Ooh, mm, true. They, they will. They see it all. Yeah. True. Yeah. Um. But to the rest of you, you're doomed. <laughs> Jesus will beat up all the AI robots. <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> Brothers. Okay. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Mwah. 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 Thanks for watching. Finicio. Oh, all right. Is that it? Finis- Finicio. Finit. Finicio. <laughs>